Hey everyone, it's DC here, and today we're going to be going over the ultimate list of cybersecurity podcasts that you should be listening to. Crazy! So I was having a good chat with my buddy Bobby from the Discord channel. And yeah, he, he uploaded a list of cybersecurity podcasts that are really good to, to get started with if you're into cybersecurity or if you're just really enthusiastic about it. Or yeah, if, if you just sort of want to learn a little bit more and sort of ease yourself into the industry while you're waiting to learn or while you are learning. It's a pretty comprehensive list. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first up, we've got some news cybersec podcasts. The first one on the list is the SANS ISC News Stormcast. He has noted in the notes that it does look like the artwork for this podcast was made in MS Paint by a 12-year-old and he, yeah, he is kind of true. It is a really good podcast if you want to listen to some CyberSec news that's around 5 to 10 minutes long. Um, the topics they cover are really good as well and it's it's definitely one that I've I've actually listen to now that I, I read Bobby's post on Medium, which by the way, I've put a link to that in the description. With this podcast, it's it's just the, the raw details. Um, it's nice and quick, it's easy to listen to, and it, it's not gonna take up a whole day. So there are other ones that I'll, I'll list further down that do sort of get more in depth. Whereas this one is just sort of a, a quick run of what you sort of need to know if you're in the industry. The next one up is the Cyber Wire. The Cyber Wire is a little bit more in depth than the Stormcast, but um, yeah, it is still quite short and and easy to listen to. It's sort of like the the day's happenings, um, but they also have some security professionals talk at the the end of the podcast, which is really good to listen to. Those those researchers and professionals usually talk about vulnerabilities that are sort of up and coming or, or current in the cybersecurity space. I personally found this one a little bit easier to listen to than the Stormcast just because of the um, the analysis at the end. And that, that sort of grabbed me a little bit more than the Stormcast. I felt the Stormcast was a little bit too rough, but that's my own personal opinion. You have to listen to them both to sort of find out for yourself. So next up, we have some longer format news ones, which if you have the time are definitely worth listening to. Um, but for me, I found it to be a bit of a struggle because I'm patient and um, I, I didn't really have the time to listen through uh, all of these every single day. So I, I just sort of, yeah, I, I focus more on the short format news. But uh, yeah, let's get started on that list. So the first one is Beers with Talos, where there's five people uh, all talking together about vulnerabilities coming up, um, current as well. Uh, in-depth talks about malware analysis, you name it. It's all on this podcast, and these guys are pretty cool to listen to, actually. They um, they basically just get drunk and talk about cybersecurity. It is interesting. However, it does go for a little bit too long for my liking, and, I, like, I myself listen to podcasts on the way to work, and my commute is around 15, 20 minutes. So, I, this one's... It doesn't fit into a 20 minute bracket. So I, I just don't have time to listen to the full thing. If you are jumping on a train though, these these podcasts are pretty good for you to listen to. Um, if you're you know commuting around an hour. Next one up is Paul's Security Weekly, which um, it's not a daily podcast. It is a weekly one, obviously. Um, this guy sort of, and it, it sort of goes over uh, with international guests um, on cybersecurity happenings. He seems to talk a fair bit about pen testing and government organizations, which is fairly interesting for me because that's sort of my area of expertise. However, it does go for a little while. They also do some pretty cool deep dives with a bunch of guests, which I, I did find in, uh, interesting as well. But um, again, it just went for a little bit too long for me to want to listen to the whole thing. Uh, the next one up is Down the Rabbit Hole. It gives you an important perspective of um, how cybersecurity threats relate to business downtime. And this one is very interesting to listen to again, but if you don't have a huge amount of time, maybe it's not the best option for you to listen to. The next one on the list is Tech Snap. Now this one is, um, as Bobby says, all about network admin, sysadmin type roles. 
Um, and I found it quite interesting because there was a few things in there that I had completely forgotten about since working in those sort of positions. Um, and the technologies that they talk about are quite interesting um, with how it's sort of changed since I, I was in those roles. But it is a little bit focused on security. They do deep dive into issues and vulnerabilities just like all the other ones do, as well as you know software vulnerabilities and software engineering type things as well. So some interesting uh, podcasts to listen to that are on sort of like daily life type situation are as follows. Malicious Life is the first one on the left and it's a storytelling podcast which is done in Israel, which um, if you need to Google anything related to Israel, definitely do because the Israeli CyberSec force is uh, serious business, really serious. Their um, perspective on these stories is very international and um, yeah, it's I found it quite interesting listening to those uh, and sort of getting to know their perspective on the um, cybersecurity cyber space. The next one on this list is the infamous Darknet Diaries. Um, this one is one I absolutely listen to every every uh, two weeks. I think they come out, and it's um, they're great stories. the The pen testing stories and the red teaming stories are definitely my favourite ones. Um, they're just he the guy produces it really well, and he's obviously very good at storytelling. Um, because it really captivates the audience and I, I really enjoy this podcast. So Darknet Diaries, top of the list for me. Um, you won't really learn anything, but um, they are good to listen to, to give you a sort of perspective on um, how people work in this industry and the stuff that's out there that you know makes an interesting story. The next one on the list is the Swindled podcast. Uh, Swindled is pretty similar to Darknet Diaries, except that it's um it's more about hacking people rather than systems so it's a very social engineering focused podcast production quality is again very good with this and the storytelling uh, techniques used are also very good so if um if you are interested in social engineering this is definitely a podcast that you should listen to okay so next we have listed some open source podcasts um, which are related to cybersecurity and not just open source in general, but also Linux uh, podcasts that you should sort of have a listen to at least once to sort of grasp the whole idea of open source. So the first one on the list is Bad Voltage, which is probably the most popular out of this list of items. It's fairly similar to Paul's weekly security podcast uh, that I mentioned before, where it's, it's sort of like a, a debate between people on uh, issues or, you know, open source projects that are up and coming. Um, news on particular open source projects, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's a pretty good one to listen to. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, Choose Linux was the next one on the list from Bobby's Medium post. Um, I only listened to about half of this and I, I got really uninterested in the topics that they were talking to. I didn't feel like the flow was quite right, um, but it was definitely, if you listen back to other episodes, uh, it was actually a really good podcast. So I hope that they bring it back to how it was before. And um, yeah, it's, it sort of grasps the whole idea of uh, open source projects similar to Bad Voltage. Um, but yeah, I think they could really improve with their flow a little bit better. Basically, they, they just talk to different people about uh, Linux projects that are up and coming. Next one on the list is Linux Unplugged, which um, Bobby said was part of another show originally, um, but I didn't know that show. But uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It's sort of like an open chat room where people call in and, and talk about everything Linux, really. And it's it's a bit of a mess of a show. There's not much structure to it, I found, but um, the topics they were talking about were in interesting. Um, I only listened to the la uh, latest two episodes of this, and I thought, yeah, I I'll definitely include it on the list. Um, so I'm, I'm glad Bobby did point this one out as one of the ones I should listen to. It was, it was an interesting listen. The last Linux one was User Error. This one is like a, a tech talk show and it's similar to Linux Unplugged, but it does have a better structure to it and people aren't just sort of calling in and doing whatever they want with it. There is some good structure on this show and it's definitely worth a listen if um, open source projects are on your mind or if you want to learn about them. Um, they also talk about all sorts of new distros and, and stuff like that, as well as uh, some security aspects in later episodes. 
Um, but I haven't heard anything recently on security in their podcast, but I'm sure they'll bring it up again because it's a bit of a buzzword in the industry. Finally, we have a software engineering podcast, which is called Coda Radio. Now, Coda Radio is pretty interesting because they ask uh, the people in the podcast to take two weeks and learn a new language. And then they report back on that and sort of go over uh, the ins and outs, the you know little bits that they found about that language that uh, stand out, um, anything they like or didn't like, and it's it's just it's actually a really good podcast, and it's not um, just focused on software engineering. You could use these techniques all the way through in cybersecurity as well, um, because coding is a part of cybersecurity. So it's yeah, it's definitely worth um, listening to this one just for the perspective of. Uh, their point of view on different languages. So that's the list of podcasts that you should definitely listen to if you're getting into cybersecurity or anything technology related really. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this list. If you need to check out the, uh, the list that I have listed out here, there is a blog post that I'll put in the description of this video where you can go and check it out. And don't forget to give Bobby some claps and thumbs up and share his, uh, his blog because it is actually quite good and very in-depth, more in-depth than this video in fact. But of course, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one guys. Catch you later, goodbye. Also, you, you probably noticed that I'm in the hacker van again. Um, I accidentally broke the uh, ECU on my new Audi, which is fantastic. So it's back at the shop getting fixed up right now. So I'm gonna be in, in this car for a little while longer. So bear with me, I'll, I'll be back in my comfy car sooner rather than later, hopefully.